Hello everyone and welcome to Excel with Jacob. In today's video we're going to be talking about how you can mass move a bunch of different files and then of course move them over to the recycling bin. Now why would you want to do something like this? Well for me in particular what ended up happening was over time when I would film videos for my main channel I would just end up with a ton of extra clips where I messed up on something, I didn't end up including something and over time that that file just builds up and has just a ton of clips in it and it's very tedious to go over to the recycling bin or to remember that so what we ended up doing was coming up with an actual method to be able to automate this daily that way I don't even have to think about it and that's gonna be pretty cool to do we are going to be using Windows command prompt to be able to do this but also gonna focus on actually automating the process so it should be a lot of fun so what we're gonna have to do for the first step is to go ahead and download something called CMD utils and I actually have a link for that in the description for you to go ahead and download but once you download it you're gonna have to right click it extract all and then you are going to go ahead and go to browse and then go over to windows and then go ahead and of course do the select folder and then download it there or extract it there that way uh, this command prompt will be able to read it uh, it just has to be in the windows folder so that's just something that I had to figure out so now that we've got that step done it's time to go ahead and head over to the second set where it's actually writing the code and this is gonna be very simple code I mean we're talking two lines in this case but something else to note is I did use notepad plus plus to be able to do this and that's just because we are going to have to uh, you know run it do a couple other things but as far as the actual file type is concerned I saved it as something known as a batch file so if you are interested in that yes go ahead and do the batch file if you do not want to use notepad plus plus I could say you can go ahead and do dot bat but I don't know exactly how you're going to run it if you know a way to do that then by all means go ahead and do that but like I said we are going to run this so you can actually see it working but as far as the command line is concerned I will include this in the description but you have to go ahead and do it like this CD means change directory that pretty much means what folder do you want to go to for us to go ahead and do something to it so in this case we are saying hey go ahead and go over to this location and then we're going to go ahead and recycle everything within that location very important that you do get the correct link in this case so by the way if you don't know your file path just right click it and click copy address as text once you do that you can see here that it will automatically have it in like that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and undo that so this is going to be the actual command that you have to do I don't see any reason why you couldn't do this multiple times if you wanted to clear out multiple folders you would just keep repeating this exact same code do it over and over and over again and then of course go ahead and save it as that .bat file save it as a, like a batch file and then what we're gonna do now is go ahead and run it just to make sure that it works so I want to go ahead and point your attention down here where you're going to see this folder actually clear out which is pretty crazy once we ended up doing this so we're gonna go ahead and go to run and then click run I actually already have the file uh, located but I just went to browse and I saved it and called it recycler so all we have to do is just click run so it's actually doing it right now and it deleted everything except for one file and that file is actually the video recording for this video right now so that's pretty cool that it did not delete it and then it ends up just pulling up an error and then all I have to do is just click cancel and then of course it doesn't delete the file that is amazing so you can see how this works you can confirm that it works the next step is going to be centered around actually scheduling the task so right now I have something opened up known as the task scheduler you can go ahead and go to your Windows menu type in task scheduler and then it should pop up and what we're going to do in the top right is something known as just creating a basic task this is going to be very simple to go ahead and walk through but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for us so you're gonna go ahead and start off with this prompt where you're just creating the name of it we can go ahead and call it recycle and then go ahead and click next and we're going to select the time that we would want to actually do so in this case we're going to do it daily and then we're going to actually select our start time and what I'm gonna do is just move it a couple minutes off of what time it actually is right now that way we can actually see it work and then know that it is working so I'm gonna go ahead and move this a couple minutes up you guys are gonna see it right after I do it so that isn't gonna be that big of a deal anyways we're gonna go ahead and go over to the next one which is going to be action so in this case we're going to simply do start a program we're gonna click next and then now it's gonna say hey well what program do you want to actually run 
well then you're going to go ahead and go over to the program script that we wrote earlier called recycler.bat go ahead and click open we don't have any arguments or anything like that and then we're going to go ahead and then go over to the next one and then click finish so that should be pretty cool and now we're just going to have to sit and wait and then what's going to end up happening is we are going to actually see all of the files that are currently in the uh, folder that we were wanting to end up clearing out so now we just have to wait for that time to get there and then we'll see that it actually works so the command prompt just finished it everything just got done and once again it can't delete the file that I'm actually doing where I am recording it right now which is going to be a lot of insurance on my behalf but we know now that it is actually scheduled to work and all you have to do is just set it for a time that you know you won't be in those files at all for me I just set it for midnight just to kind of go ahead and do it but that just about wraps up the video for today hopefully this was helpful to go ahead and clear out all of your files if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if it was helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe i am trying to get this channel monetized and i would definitely appreciate it especially if it ended up helping you